Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today we're going to be talking about some of the wonderful free game development tools that exist out there. We're not going to be a comprehensive list, and this isn't a best of list. What I'm going to do is start things off with like a minute or two about some of the most common, you've probably heard of tools out there, and then I'm going to get into some slightly more obscure tools, hopefully introduce you to something brand new that you can add to your game development toolbox. Now, let's start things off with the most obvious examples. Uh, we've got the most popular open source application for game developers is probably Blender. Blender is a do all tool for creating 3D uh, renders, modeling, uh, video editing, compositing, etc. Uh, Blender, again, is a powerhouse in the free and open source space. Now, when it comes to game engines, there's a ton of options here as well. Uh, one of the most popular open source options, obviously, is the Godot game engine. You can also use Unity and Unreal Engine, the default game engine. Uh, there's a ton of things that you can get started with for free that may eventually have a price tag down the road, but totally free, you have options like Godot, as well as the upcoming O3DE. Now, this used to be called Lumberyard. Before that, it was called CryEngine. Uh, it's more aiming to be the open source game engine for like AAA developers. Uh, so you're really covered on the game engine side of things. Again, this entire channel is full of game engine reviews. So you could probably find a hundred other examples here. But Godot is no doubt the biggest in that space. Now, in terms of natural media painting or drawing applications, Krita is probably the king in this regard. Uh, it's very capable application if you want to do painting or drawing. Uh, it's advancing at an incredible rate. It's getting new features like animation, etc. Uh, and then if you need to do image manipulation, think about the kind of things you might do for uh, Photoshop. You br might be able to get by using GIMP. Now, GIMP is a free and open source alternative for image manipulation. Uh, again, available on all major platforms. And GIMP 3 was just released um, just weeks ago. Uh, and then the audio world of things, we've got Audacity, which is one of the most popular ways to like acquire and edit waveform audio. Uh, if you need to do audio editing, etc., one of the most popular choices out there. And then when it comes to the world of map creation, we have Tiled. Now, Tiled has been around for decades at this point in time. It's a very cool program for sure, completely free to use, completely open source. So if you need to create 2D maps, but your game engine doesn't necessarily support it or you don't like the tooling, Tiled could be a good pick up there. And then finally, one of the most popular tools out there is Inkscape. Now this is for doing vector graphics. Uh, so basically painting with math. So it's kind of the equivalent of the open source version of Adobe Illustrator or Affinity Designer. So those are some of the most common free 3D tool or sorry, free game dev tools that are out there. Now we're going to jump into some slightly more obscure stuff. Uh, first, we're going to have a quick look at uh, this video sponsor, and that is Ovani Sound. Ovani Sound is awesome. They make some really great game development audio packs. And the reason why I'm mentioning them today is because they actually have two bundles going on. Now, the thing I really like about Ovani stuff is their it's game dev ready. A lot of times it comes with game engine plugins. Uh, all of their audio tracks have multiple intensities, so you can dynamically switch between them. And then their sound effects packs are wonderful as well. So the reason I'm talking about them today is there's actually two bundles going on. There's the Infinite Echo. Uh, this has 34 products in it for just like 20 bucks USD or $29 Canadian. So a number of different music packs and so on. This is actually based on a Humble bundle that was running a while ago, but has nothing to do with Humble anymore. As you can see, there's also music player plugins for Unity, Unreal, and Godot, and then a number of different soundtracks. So again, it allows you to ramp up the soundtrack. So if you're like um, in a horror game and it's getting more intense, you can ramp up the intensity of it. Each one of these comes with multiple different intensities and then plugins here for handling those intensities. And then we've also got the spring into development. This is a, uh, what does that be? 30 bucks USD, six music packs, seven sound effects, and two plugins here as well. So if you're looking to increase your soundtrack or um, sound effects libraries, these two uh, could be great pickups. Uh, again, great deals going on right now. And if you use my links down below, you do help support Game From Scratch. So uh, that's Ovani Sound, two bundles going on. Definitely go ahead and check those out. All right, so the first one we've got here is something called Pixelorama. Now, Pixelorama, uh, I believe this one was actually written using the Godot game engine, and it is just a a pixel art power tool, and it is also completely free. So you get an idea of the feature set of it available right here. You can even have 3D layers where you can bring in 3D models to your 2D canvas. You will be staggered by the number of capabilities that Pixelorama has. And the coolest thing here, you can even run it directly on their website. So here is Pixelorama going on. So you create a new project like so, and then you've got all your painting tools available right here. Fixed palette tools over here. You have um, animation support even as well. You have multiple different uh, special effects going on. Uh, so um, 
I guess that's not going to do anything with a black and white image, but you get an idea. Complete image editing. Uh, again, it does run locally on your machine, but there's even this embedded version of it, which is quite cool. So Pixelrama is uh, one of those, again, a power tool out there. Uh, and there's a number of extensions out there, such so as like tools that automatically convert your 2D pixel into 3D voxels uh, and so on. So it is a super powerful tool with just a staggering number of capabilities, including, as you can see, animation over multiple different layers. Another one we have in the painting side of things, this one runs entirely in your browser as well, is DPaint.js. Now this one might be as much nostalgia as anything else. This is based off of Deluxe Paint. That was the application used back in the day of uh, the Amiga that was used by, I I think it was originally created by Electronic Arts and it was basically used by everybody back in the day. It's a painting application for doing pixel art, uh, fixed color palette support and so on available there as well. Again, a number of different effects are available to you. Uh, you've got layering effects and so on, but it is just basically a minimalist pixel art program. Well, this is a browser port of DPaint. Again, completely free, no barrier of entry to get started. You've got, if you're working with a fixed color palette, uh, it is a great tool in that regard. There's a reason why a lot of things were based off of DPaint. This was the king for the longest time and now uh, quite an interesting project. Now, another uh, pixel art application tool that's been around for a very long time, but isn't really that well known, is Graphic Scale. Now, this actually uh, used to be commercial software. Now, when I say used to be, it's been a long time since it became freeware. Uh, as you can see by up here, it used to make a lot of uh, like anime Japanese style art, pixel art kind of things. Uh, just a huge number of tools in here as well. You got frame by frame animation support in here. Uh, you can export out animated GIFs, etc. Uh, and this guy has been, again, it's, uh, it, it was open source a long time, but the interesting thing is they keep doing releases. So we've got uh, new uh, release versions, uh, I think, uh, late 2024, did not mean to download that, but if you're looking for a comprehensive pixel art tool, again, it's got a very 90s, 2000 user interface, but this thing has been battle tested and used for a number of years, even if the website is ugly as sin. Now this one is, if you're a regular of this channel, you probably already know about it because I am a giant fanboy of Material Maker and every chance I can yell at you to go and check out Material Maker, I will do so, which by the way, go and check out Material Maker. I'm telling you once again, this is an excellent program. Uh, one of my my favorite open source projects out there. It's kind of like Substance Designer. You can use it to create just a staggering number of materials and you're creating them completely procedurally. Now, the 1.4 release is coming up very soon, so they're in alpha right now. As you can notice here, uh, available for Windows, uh, Mac, and Linux as well. Uh, this one is another project that was written using the Godot game engine, uh, which is very cool. So if you're looking for something like a Substance Designer uh, for creating uh, materials, that is exactly what it's like. So you use these node graphs to create procedural materials. They also have a number of different um, materials you can go ahead and check out and linked out. Uh, so if you go to their website, for example, they do have uh, a variety of created materials. You can see the kind of things that have been created using this tool. Uh, it is, again, one of those ones I highly recommend. They're also adding in painting tools as well, uh, which is very cool. So Material Maker, if you have not checked it out already, do so. Uh, and then if you need something for the drawing side of things, so once you've created your material and you want to draw it, what you want to do is check out Yusu Painter. This is a layer-based painting program for Blender, specifically for Eevee and Cycles renderer and allows you to paint directly on your 3D objects. Again, it would work very well uh, with something like um, material Maker for making the materials and then here you layer them and create them and paint them using uh, Blender and Usu Paint. Now this is one that I intend to go hands-on with, do a dedicated video about on the channel. I haven't done so yet. I've mentioned it a few times in the past. This is about as close as you're going to get to a free version of um, Substance Painter. So we've got Substance Designer with Material Maker and Substance Painter with Usu Paint. So uh, highly recommend checking this one out, especially if you are familiar and comfortable with working with Blender. And then we've got this one you've probably heard of, but I had to include it somewhere on the list, Magic of Voxel. Now this is a voxel-based uh, painting application. Voxels are uh, basically 3D pixels. So these things are actually being drawn. See, like you can tell her to tell up here with more or less virtualized Lego. And you can do some staggering artwork with uh, Magic of Voxel. And the most impressive thing with this application is it still completely and utterly free. So if you're into that voxel art style, um, it's 
probably the best painting application out there for working with voxels. Again, free to use for any project, uh, a very cool project I highly recommend checking out. Uh, in terms of downloads, uh, it's available, is it Windows only? Yeah, it, it seems to be Windows only, which is a bit unfortunate, but Magic of Voxel, if you've never checked it out, if you wanna work with voxel art, uh, it is the tool to go to. Uh, and then we've got this guy. So this is Sculpt GL. This is again running directly in my browser. This is a super impressive program in that it basically it is an online sculpting program. So you can see that the results as it go. The guy that created this actually created um, Nomad Sculpt uh, as well. So uh, again, a uh, super powerful tool for creating uh, sculpting and, and so on. Again, runs entirely in your browser and you can export your results out here, a variety of different formats. So if you're doing 3D printing, you could bring them out as STL. If you're doing um, uh, game development, you can bring it out as a static OBJ file or you can uh, bring it out ready for work with ZBrush, etc. Super powerful tool uh, and just sort of a minimalistic sculpting application called SculptGL. Uh, again, runs entirely in your browser, so you don't need to do anything else. Again, this is the same guy that went on to create uh, Nomad Paint, uh, which is a sculpting application for mobile applications, and it's also really cool. So if you want just a dedicated sculpting program, you don't want to use something full-blown like Blender or ZBrush or um, the various 3D coat, the other options that exist out there. Sculpt GL is about as low of a barrier of entry as you can get, and it's actually shockingly capable in terms of what it can do. And finally, and if you're a regular of this channel, you've mentioned this one before in the past as well. I'm becoming a bit of a fanboy yet for it as well. This one is another 2D level editor. Uh, this is actually from the guy that created uh, Dead Cells, one of my favorite games of all times. Uh, it is designed straight up for game developers. It has a very streamlined user interface, supports pretty much every platform you can think of. Uh, it has uh, plugins available directly. So like if you're using hacks or something, you can load it in directly. Auto rendering, so auto tile map handling as you go, super simple exporting out, handles multiple worlds and how they all link together so you can do your entire game's concept here uh, and then export them all out. ASC sprite support, uh, and you got support for a number of different projects that you can load it in directly. So if you're working with Unity, for example, there is a Unity loader available, hacks and so on. Uh, you can export out to tiled, the thing that we talked about earlier on, and edit in tiled if you wish to continue from there. And uh, it's also available for completely free. So that is LDTK, uh, a, a level editor from the creator of, uh, again, Dead Cells, uh, one of my favorite indie games out there. So it is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux as well. So hopefully you guys learned a new tool for the world of game development. If you have other recommendations, and this is not a comprehensive list, and this is not a best of list, uh, but if you have more uh, suggestions, let me know in the comments down below, especially if it's something I've never covered on the channel. I'm always interested to learn about new tools. Uh, so yeah, also, again, if you're interested, those Avani links are down below, and using them will help support the channel. That's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.